Hello and good morning. Welcome to our presentation and thank you for coming. I'm Polly Wong and this is my partner, Caleb Jane. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming. And we are both studying mechanical engineering at the Poly U. So do you know what an intelligent building is? Actually, intelligent buildings have been developed since the 1980s. And since then, interests have been growing in them. However, they have not been used as widely as expected. We can't see many examples in the world, and there are not many at all in Hong Kong. Citibank Plaza being one of the few instances. So why aren't there more intelligent buildings in Hong Kong? Well, that is what we will answer in our presentation today. We would like to show you some of the advantages and disadvantages of intelligent buildings and then discuss why this type of building is not used for residential buildings in Hong Kong. We have divided our presentation into four sections. First, I will tell you what the features of intelligent buildings are. Then I will look at the advantages. Next, I will hand, uh, hand you over to Caleb, uh, who will analyze the drawbacks and will finally give a conclusion as to why this type of building is not used for housing in our city. After that, we will, we will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. The presentation will last around 10 minutes and we have included a complete reference list on our final slide. Okay, I will start now by explaining to you some of the features of intelligent buildings. Derek Clement Coombs in his 2004 books states that 